homes are a reflection of our desires and taste. But more than having a stylish home, it is everyone's dream to create a personal sanctuary that would enable us to live meaningfully. I'm Sara Labati Gutierrez, coming to you from the SMDC Shore 2 Residences, where you can experience a vacation lifestyle every day. This is The Good Home. If you're looking at all the ways you want to decorate your home and thinking that you can afford it, I'm here to tell you that it can be done. With a little creativity and ingenuity, you can bring beauty into your living spaces without breaking the bank. Let's get started. Books are great conversation starters and they always add a character and a personal touch to any space. But what if you don't have a library to keep your collection? One of my favorite ways to use books as a design element is to use them as risers to add height and visual weight. Use them to elevate lamps, frames, candles or vases. You may also use books as pieces of furniture by stacking them to look like a table or this unconventional stool. Who knew that strapping a cushion on your favorite novels would look this cool? If you want to add personality to your rooms, try putting up some wall art. If you don't want to spend a lot, you can use your old graphic t-shirts to make it more personal. Just mount them on canvas or old cardboard boxes and you now have an item of sentimental value on your otherwise blank wall. If you have unused wrapping paper lying around, you can frame them as well to add a beautiful element to your walls. Got some old hangers you want to get rid of? Before you throw them in the bin, let me show you a cool way to resurrect them. Grab your favorite magazines, part them in the middle, and hang them on your wall using old hangers. Alternatively, you can use old clipboards to display photos, magazine images, or any other picture on your wall. What a clever way to use vertical space, right? If you've been meaning to change the look of your basic lampshade but you're on a tight budget, why not try doing it yourself? You can paint it, dye it, cover it in fabric or add trim. You can even stitch around the top or the base with ribbons or a leather cord. And if you're feeling extra creative, stitch with a thick thread all over the shade. You can even use it to show off your coolest Instagram photos. Just print your favorite photos and glue them on. You can make a collage by mixing and matching the ones that you like. I think baby photos would look great in a nursery. What do you think? Another way to spruce up your space is to add some greenery. Bringing nature into your space always creates a huge impact. Another way to decorate with nature is to use fallen branches from trees. Choose really thin ones and put them in nice vase to create a natural and minimalist look in your dining or living room. You may also create your own furniture by incorporating tree branches into furniture designs. Cover a branch with string lights to make a lamp or hang them to make a chandelier. Paint thicker branches and use them in the entryway as hangers for umbrellas, bags and coats, or in the bathroom as hanger for towels, toilet paper or clothes. You can also use them as bookshelves or create an open closet by using thick branch as a holder for your clothes. Another DIY project that you can work on is to repurpose items that you love. If you can't let go of an item in your home, try reimagining it into something new. By adding or removing elements in your old pieces, you can totally transform them into something new and useful again. Try repainting your desks and closets to transform your spaces and create a brand new look. Even by simply changing the hardware on your drawers and cabinets, you can give your rooms a fresh new style.
every home is different, but beautiful homes all have one thing in common. They're all stamped with their owner's personality. So before you do anything, make sure that you know who you are and what you want your space to look like. If you need help, here are some do's and don'ts to guide you. First, do start with a clean and organized space. Elegant homes are always clutter-free, so make sure yours is as neat and as tidy as possible. Next is to take as much time as you need to design your dream space. Trust me, you will be able to save more money and effort by not making any rash decisions that you may regret later on. Another thing to consider is the architecture of your home. This will play a big part in deciding the theme, the color palette, and the pieces of furniture that would complete the vision that you have for your space. After this, create a cohesive design to make your rooms flow elegantly into one another. Avoid designing individual rooms that are too themed. By finding a common thread in your design aesthetic, your house will look more polished and thoughtfully styled. Build a style or a mood board to help you determine the things that you love and start fulfilling your home with them. Remember to mix modern pieces with a few antiques to keep a balance between the old and the new. Thrifting is a good way to source out vintage pieces that would add character to any space. Designing your space is a process, so let your decorating evolve to keep your house from looking too matching. I always find spaces to be more interesting when there is a mix of elements involved. As long as they complement each other, it wouldn't matter if they don't match. Achieving a cohesive and curated look takes years of collecting beautiful pieces that mix and match perfectly to tell a story of your design journey. All you need is a little creativity, a bit of ingenuity, and a lot of personality to enjoy living the good home experience. I hope you had fun with me in this episode. I'm Sarla Bati Gutierrez. See you next time at The Good Home. Hi everyone, catch our videos on YouTube at the official SMDC. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.